Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to unroot and put your HTC Evo 4G back to stock and turn S on. Um, just in case you need to uh, go back to stock, if you're having problems, if you need to take it back to Sprint, anything like that, uh, you can just go ahead and follow this method. It'll put you right back to stock. No one will ever know you even rooted. So to get started, you're gonna need to uh, turn S back on. Um, right now I'm running the McShifted ROM. As you can see, I have super user in my app drawer. I'm rooted and running a ROM and have a Monare recovery. Uh, whether you have a Monare clockwork, um, it doesn't matter. Um, but go ahead and power off your phone. Actually, before you power it off, you're going to need to click on the link in the description. All links will be in the description of the video. And you're going to need to click on this link right here. This will give your Evo S on. So you're going to need to turn S on. Click on the link. It'll download it right away. It's called Unrevoked. Um, unrevoked forever s on dot zip uh, but one, and then just transfer that over to your SD card on your phone so uh, once you have that on your SD card unrevoked forever s on dot zip go ahead and power off your phone then or you can just if you're uh, if you're wrong actually I'm just gonna power it on off and then once my phone has powered off you're gonna need to go into the bootloader to do this, you press the volume down and power button at the same time, press and hold. And now I'm in the bootloader. Uh, as you can see up at the top, it says S off right there. So I do have S off, which is a security off. I need to turn it back on. Uh, what I'm going to do now is then just go into recovery. So I'm going to press volume down and then the power button to select. And that will boot me into the recovery. It should take me to a Monare recovery. Whether you have Clockwork Mod on RA or Stock Recovery, it doesn't matter. As you can see, RA Supersonic version 2.3, right there. Once that loads up, it does take a little while for some reason. I'm not sure if this is the same for all devices or not. Alright, so as you can see, I'm in a RA Recovery now. All you're going to need to do is go down to Flash Zip from SD Card. So volume down to Flash Zip from SD Card and hit the Power button and then hit choose it from SD card and then once you go there go to your unrevoked forever s on dot zip press that and then it says press power to confirm any other key to abort so press your power button again confirm the uh, install and it says install from SD card complete go ahead and hit return and then just go ahead and hit reboot system now I guess Go ahead and reboot your phone. I'm not sure why it does this. And now that your phone has powered back on, I'm just going to trust that my phone is S off right now. You can go back into the bootloader and look if you would like to. Um, I'm just going to say my phone is S on right now. Um, I'm, now I'm just going to show you two ways actually to get back to stock uh, one way would be just with your phone another way would be with your PC so it's up to you which method you want to use I'm going to show you the way without a PC initially and then right afterwards I'll show you the way with a computer alright so now you can go ahead and click on the link in the description it's gonna take you to the Android Creative Syndicate forum again um, go ahead and click on well the first method I'm going to show you is without the computer go ahead and click on the PC 36 img.zip click on that download it uh, it's going to be called pc36 img.zip uh, go ahead and put it on your SD card just transfer it on over as you can see here's my SD card right here I have my unrevoked forever s on zip there but I also have the pc36 img.zip right there um, I have an A in front of it because whenever you go into the bootloader it looks for PC36 IMG.zip and if it finds it it takes a while to load it. So I renamed it with the A in front so it doesn't recognize it. Um, I'm gonna put I'm gonna get rid of the A. After you follow this process, you can uh, go ahead and just rename it if you want to rename it to whatever you want, and then if you do want to use it, just rename it back to PC36 IMG.zip. Um, see I renamed it, so now I'm gonna eject my SD card unplug my phone whoops and now that my phone has unplugged I'm gonna go ahead and just power it on off then 
powering it off and then I'm going to go back into the bootloader and when I first go into the bootloader it's going to look for that PC36IMG.zip and once it finds it it's going to load it. It does take a little time to load. Uh, be sure your battery life is preferably above 30%. Uh, this sh shouldn't You shouldn't need any more than that but you don't want your phone to shut off at all during this process. Uh, but now that my phone has shut off, you're gonna need to go back into the bootloader, volume down, power button at the same time, press and hold. It's gonna take you into the bootloader. And as you can see up at the top, I do have S on after flashing that uh, zip. And now it says checking for PC36IMG.zip as I said it would. It's loading it. As you can see, that's got this little bar over on the side. It's gonna go up and fill in, as you can see, as it loads. It does take a while to load, so be patient with the loading. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward for until when it's done loading, so just be patient with the loading process. All right, now that it's done loading, it does say checking, and then once it's done loading, it says, do you want to start the update? Uh, it says volume up for yes, volume down for no. So uh, press the volume up button. It's gonna start the update for you. Um, as you can see, it's uh, gonna update radio, recovery, WiMAX, user data system, boot, bootloader, splash one. So let that update, the bar will be going on the side. It does take a little while to update, so be patient with that as well. You'll be able to see the progress as it goes. So um, once that's done, I will uh, show you guys what to do. All right, and now that the update is complete, it says, do you want to reboot your device? Volume up to reboot, volume down to not reboot. Um, go ahead and reboot your phone, volume up. As I said, that update did take a little while, so uh, I'm sure you guys uh, noticed that. But I'm gonna let that boot up, and then once it boots up, I'm gonna show you guys I am back to stock, Android 2.3.3. As you can see, when it first boots up, um, goes to this screen. Not exactly sure what it is. Um, I believe it would just mean that the software is being up, has been updated for it. And now it goes back to the uh, stock boot up screen now. All right, now that my phone has booted up, um, as you can see, everything looks back to stock. I will uh, takes you to the um, original startup screens. I'm going to go ahead and skip all the uh, account syncs and everything. Um, I'm not going to set anything up so you guys don't have to watch me do that. I'm going to finish and then once it uh, loads up the home screen, I'm going to go ahead and be able to show you guys I'm back to stock. It's going to give me Sense 2.1, I believe. Alright, and now let's boot it back up. Uh, pull down the notification bar. Everything looks back to stock how it was. Go to Menu, Settings, About Phone. And then I'm going to go to software information. As you can see, Android version 2.3.3 right there. Like I said, um, you're going to have software number 4.53.651.1, which is the latest right now. So uh, there you go. Now you are back to stock. You're not rooted. As you can see, super user is not in your app drawer anywhere. Um, so there you go. You're now back to stock. Go ahead and return your phone. Go ahead and... Uh, do it, whatever you want, whether you just wanted to go back to stock or what. But there you go, that's one method without, uh, that's how you do it without a computer, just on your phone. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to uh, unroot your Evo 4G back to stock, uh, Android 2.3.3, using your computer. Um, as you can see, I do have super user in my app I'm rooted, and I do have Clockwork Mod as well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and unroot back to stock using my computer. Um, you are going to need to flash that S on zip again. Well, not again, but that I showed earlier uh, to turn your uh, security back on, which I'm sure you guys have already done. So you need to make sure that S is your S on on your device and your bootloader. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to unroot your HCC Evo using your PC. Um, just a quick note, um, if you have rooted while you're on your software version 4.53, then uh, there's no way to turn S off back to S on at the moment. So that zip in the beginning is not going to work. Um, I'll put an annotation at the beginning of the video letting everyone know. But there is no way to turn S back on once you 
root when you're on software version 4.53. So just a heads up there. Um, so my S is off. I am on software version 4.53. I did uh, upgrade, obviously. Um, so now uh, you're stuck with S off for now. Um, now just to go back to stock, I have super user in my app drawer. And I do have clockwork mod as well. So right there, super user. And I do uh, have clockwork mod, as I said. But now, just to show you how to get the latest while using your computer, go ahead and click on the link in the description, Android Creative Syndicate Forum. Uh, click on the ruu.exe. Click on that, download it. It might take a little while to download. Um, it's going to look like this, ruu supersonic uh, gingerbread sprint, www. Da, da, da. Um, but just double click on that. should ask for permission once it loads. And then hit yes. And then it's going to set up for you. It's going to take you back to stock Android 2.3.3 version 4.53.651.1, which is the latest for the HTC Evo 4G. All right, it says you understand the caution indicated. Um, go ahead and hit next. Just check that and then hit next. Um, it says turn on your Android phone connected to your PC via USB cable and Disable standby and hibernation modes on your PC and make sure your battery is more than 30%. Go ahead and plug in your phone into uh, your computer. Like so. There you go. Now it is plugged in. You can just hit charge only and hit done. And then just check the I have completed the steps indicated above. Hit next. Verifying information on your Android phone. Please wait. And now just go ahead and select update, update current ROM version. And this is this process is going to take a little while. As it, as you can see, it says from image version 4.53 to image version 4.53. So it's the same one, obviously, since I am on the latest. And it's um, just going to put me back to stock. Get rid of super user, get rid of clockwork mod. So go ahead and hit next. And then just says during the app it just lets you know what's going to happen when it's updating. So we hit next again. And now it just says rebooting to the bootloader. Your phone should reboot to the bootloader. And then uh, it should update your uh, ROM image um, on your Android phone. So if I go to my Evo right here, it should be booting up into the bootloader. So it should hop right into the bootloader for you. It says erasing user data. So this is obviously going to erase all your data. And it's, I believe it just sits on the screen. I'm not too sure. I haven't ran this before. I always did the P, uh, PC36 IMG.zip file. Um, but yeah, let that run. It does take a little while, so be patient with it. Be sure that uh, your battery doesn't get pulled accidentally. The core doesn't get pulled, anything like that. Just let it, just let it sit there and let it run. Um, and uh, just be patient with it. And now it just says your ROM update has been completed. Your Android phone is now ready for use. So uh, it says click finish. You can just go ahead and click finish. And as you can see, your phone just reboots once uh, the update process is complete. And now, uh, as you can see, my phone has powered on. I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. Uh, it goes up to the startup screens. I'm going to skip through all of this. And finish and then once this loads up I will show you I'm back to stock I won't have super user I won't have clockwork mod anymore and I'll be back to stock okay now that it has loaded up I'm gonna go to my app drawer real quick show you that super user isn't there anymore as you can see no more super user I'm gonna go to menu settings about phone and then click on software information and as you can see I'm on Android 2.3.3 and software number 4.53.651.1 which is the latest uh, so that is the latest software version on your HTC Evo 4G I'm sure they're coming out with a way if you do root on 4.53 to turn S back on right now there isn't a method to turn S on while on this software version so you're stuck if you have rooted which is not a big deal um, but anyways uh, that would be how to do it using those two methods if you do have any questions feel free to ask leave a comment send me a message I'll be happy to help you out all links to the video will be in the description and you can follow me on Twitter at QBKing77 or um, 
Be sure to subscribe to me for future how-to videos as well. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video.